Hello and welcome to this video lesson where we're going to be exploring the idea of one and more than one. And what we're really talking about there is singular and plural. So what does single mean? When we talk about single, we're talking about one thing. For example, one cat, a cat, or a dog, one dog. Now we know what single means, what does plural mean? When we talk about plural, we're talking about more than one thing. For example, two cats, four dogs. It also works without using numbers to count them. For example, lots of dogs and too many cats. But what changes between single and plural? Obviously the number of the things has changed, but something happens to the spelling as well. When we change a word from single to plural, something changes with the spelling of the word. What changes exactly depends on how the word is spelled in the single form. There are four main ways to change a word from single to plural. Let's start with the easy one. For most words, when they change from single to plural, all we need to do is add an S to the end of the single word. For example, cat. One cat, changing it to plural makes it cats. Dog becomes dogs. Teacher becomes teachers. Rocket becomes rockets. All of these words change from the single into the plural simply by adding S to the end of it. Next, we're looking at adding ES. And we add ES to the end of a word if it ends in S, for example. Dress becomes dresses. And we have to do that because Dress ends in S already. So if we were to add another S onto dress like we normally would with the ordinary words, it'd look really, really funny. Same with glass. We can't just add a an S onto glass to make it plural, so we have to add ES instead. Words that end in X are different as well. We add ES onto Fox to make it foxes. And we do the same with box. One box, many boxes. Just add an ES. We also add ES when a word ends in CH. So for example, lunch becomes lunches, bench becomes benches. And the same for words in SH. Brush becomes brushes, trench becomes trenches. So any words that end in CH, oh, that's a mistake there, isn't it? Oh well, carry on. Can you think of any other words that end in SH? Like, blush? If we wanted to change blush into plural, we would just add ES to the end of it. B-L-U-S-H-E-S, -E blushes. For words ending in F or FE, we have to do something a little bit differently. And basically, we chop off that F or the FE and we replace it with VES. Words that end in F, like wolf and shelf, we knock off that F at the end of wolf and we replace it with VES, wolves. How will we spell the plural of shelf? That's right, shelves. We knock off the F and add V-E-S. For words that end in F-E, like knife, we knock off the F and the E, and we replace it with V-E-S. Knife becomes knives. How will we spell thief? T-H-I-E, knock off that F, and add on V-E-S, thieves. And finally, sometimes the whole word has to change. 
child, mouse, goose, man. These are all examples where the word has to change completely. You wouldn't say one child, two childs. You would say one child, two children. There are never three mouses. There are three mice. Goose becomes geese and man becomes men. And then sometimes the word doesn't change at all. One fish, ten fish. One sheep, many sheep. One deer, eight deer. That's the end of our lesson today on plurals and singulars. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to pause this video and to look at this paragraph. Try to change any word that has a line underneath it from single into plural. You can play this video again to look at each rule if you are unsure. Also, think about the thing you are watching this video on. Are you watching on a phone, a computer, a tablet or a smart television? Look around the room you are in. Is there a bench or a press in the room? Is there a box or a shelf? I hope there isn't a fox there. If there is a fox, or even a wolf, it might be a good idea to find an adult, a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, and ask them to call animal control. Thanks for watching.